Hi guys, so in this video I want to share a free on-page SEO tool with you that comes as a Chrome extension and really focuses on the most important or most fundamental on-page SEO factors that you can apply to a page. And it's free, you can just install it in your Chrome and use it and have your staff use it so it's really scalable, you, you're not locked in into a license or have to use some clunky desktop software like Cora SEO, which I do love, but it's not really scalable. Um, the reason or one of the reasons I like that extension so much is that it can extract keyword variations from the Google SERPs. So these are the terms that Google highlights in bold when you search something on desktop. Cora does that as well. I'm not really aware of any other tool that does it that way. And if you look at the shared Cora data, you can see that like number of unique variations used has a very strong correlation across, I don't know how big this data set is right now. It's probably a few million at least um, in terms of Cora reports this is based on. Um, so yeah, number of unique variations used is one of the top, top factors and things like variations in body tags, so just like the raw number of keyword variations used on the page, same with like within the HTML tag, within headings, within your subheadings, within paragraph tags. So you see variations appear pretty much everywhere and all sorts of factors that correlate. So finding your keyword variations and using them on the page you want to rank for a keyword is really important. Um, but let me show you the actual extension. So it's called Gromatic on page SEO optimizer and SERP keywords scraper. You can just add it to Chrome and then use it. I'm going to use it on this page, the ngram analysis tool that I have on my site and it does get some impressions for ngram analyzer so i'm going to use this as the main keyword and we'll now launch the gromatic chrome extension paste the keyword in the target keyword field i will just keep the default selection like you can go up to 10 pages of uh, SERPs for the analysis, but five are usually good enough. Then I'm going to copy and paste our page URL in there as well. Then click Scrape Data, and now it's going through the Google search results for that keyword and scrapes all that data. And in a second, it is going to present that data, and then we can use it to optimize our page. All right, so the score is really low. That was kind of expected because I never did anything with that page. And at the top, you can see the keyword variations. So these are the terms or phrases as they appear exactly within the Google search results snippets. And the variation n-grams are n-grams extracted from these bolded terms. So in this case, we get more n-grams than exact keyword variations. And we are missing a few on our page like n-gram analyzer with, without the dash between n and gram. That's completely missing on our page. So we definitely want to add that. Gram analysis, probably with the n dash in front of it. So n dash gram analysis seems to be missing as well. So we would definitely want to add these. And then it breaks down the data even more like into n-grams found within meta titles, n-grams found within meta descriptions. And like the higher the importance score, the more frequently they appear in ranking pages. So across the top 50 results that it just scraped, um, terms like characters or tokenizer appear quite frequently. So it probably makes sense to put them on the page. And it also looks at related searches, which can give you an idea of like um, search intent and long tail keywords that you can optimize for, like ngram analyzer software app 
free online like free online app or software that's probably good to have on the page as well and related entities it pulls these from google image search sometimes there are relevant ones in there sometimes they are not in this case not many of them are relevant nlp is related it would probably make a good like supporting page that you could interlink um frequency does make sense but something like keyword planner is probably off anyway now the easiest thing you can do with this is to just click this icon which copies a prompt to your clipboard which you can then paste in your favorite llm and i'm also going to prepend some more specific instructions to really focus on the correct page type Remember, this is for the Ngram analyzer of FiniteNet. Then I'm just pasting what I just copied from the tool. Click Run, and it should generate optimized meta titles for us. And it scores each of them. So this one contains Elasticsearch, which is not relevant in our case. So unfortunately we can use that the first one also contains elastic search um let me write a follow-up prompt don't use elastic search and instead try to add free online I just can't type but run and now we should get better suggestions okay I think we can use this and I'm just going to add free in there as well Or maybe Ngram Analyzer for SEO. That actually describes it better. I'm just going to write a relatively long title. So I'm going to take this as the starting point. Okay, let's let's do this. Online Ngram Analyzer, free tokenizer, and analysis software for SEO. So this is relatively long, but it, it should still be fine. And it contains a lot of relevant terms we've seen in the tool. So online was in the related searches. Ngram Analyzer is obviously the main keyword. Free was in the related searches. Tokenizer was in the, uh, I think in the keyword variation ngrams but let me double check nope it wasn't in there then it was probably okay tokenizer a variation of it is in the title ngrams but in the description ngrams there was tokenizer as well so it makes sense to have that in the title and now we can do the same thing with the meta description Let me just remove this and I'm going to keep my kind of introduction line to make this relevant to the actual page type. Let's check the scores. First one has the highest score. So we can probably use this our engram analyzer. Let's say the the infinite net engram analyzer. And let's say yes, see how results search results is related to like Elasticsearch. 
because engram analysis is also used within search engines basically or search uh, search software like Elasticsearch is something that indexes documents and you can then search them. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pick another description and I will put it in our, um, let's pick the second one, in our article schema description field, so in this one. I already had something in there, but I'm going to use this instead. And I want free and online in there as well. Oh, maybe I will use this one actually. <laughs> I think that sounds better. What was the score of that one? Just 8.8, .8, but that's fine. Um, this tool in there, we can add tool. Oh, and I wanted free and online in there, right? All right, now we've got even more relevant terms in there than the uh, AI suggested. And now we could also tweak our H1 a little, but actually let me first save this page and then refresh the analysis just to see where we are now. You can click this icon to just fetch the updated page content and you can see the score already improved. Um, and I want to see what we are missing. Ngram Analyzer is not actually missing, I think. Didn't we just put this in our meta title? But I think Ngram Analysis was still missing. Yeah, right. Let's remove the dash here, keep the dash here. And ngram analysis. And let's put software in the, yeah, I think we didn't mention this yet. All right, so this should be better. Let me just refresh the tool one last time. I'm not sure why it doesn't catch Ngram Analyzer because we definitely got that on our page. Might be a bug, I'm not sure, but our score is a lot higher than it was before. And we've got like at least the most important terms in there and gram tokenizer specified tokenizers. Like some terms are still missing, but overall our page should be much better off now than it was before. All the specific keyword variations are in there. This uh, variation is in there as well. Ngram analyzer. Maybe I've got a typo in there, but. No, I don't. Maybe it's because of the colon afterwards, I'm not sure. But there's none here. So it should catch that. But it doesn't for some reason, I'm not sure why. But yeah, like with anything, just use your brain and double check. So what I'm going to do now is just save this page and I will write a blog post that I will link in the description of this video. And in two weeks from now, I will share the results. Like I will track what these very simple changes we have applied to this page so far 
uh, are going to do to its rankings, both on page level and also just on individual keyword level, like for our main target keyword engram analyzer. And yeah, we will see. Did I say two weeks? I guess more like three hours, maybe four hours at most. So this is when I ran the initial Cora volatility report before I applied the changes. And as you can see, like the average position is 22.2. We are fluctuating between 22 and 23. Now it's, yeah, like three hours later I'm recording this. I ran the Cora volatility report again. And as you can see, we are fluctuating between position 9 and position 22. Now, if we look at the details, we can see that the old version, so this is our old meta title, is the one that still ranks between like 19 and 22, and our new meta title, so the actually updated page, where this is the stale cache, ranks between position 9 and 11. And this is three hours later, so we gained like 12 positions on average just by spending five minutes on this page only by updating the meta title, the meta description and the, um, the article schema description field. And I also changed one or two words within the second sentence on the page, but that was really it. So these were really minimal changes. Um, that had a significant impact on the rankings of this page within a really short amount of time, like literally just right after the recrawl, it would rank on page one pretty much from what was what was it before, like page three probably. So if anyone tells you like keywords don't matter or Meta descriptions don't matter, like you shouldn't even fill them out. Um, then it just means they probably have no idea what they are doing. There definitely are like additional layers on top of the fundamentals, but they are additional layers. The fundamental SEO principles still matter and they still matter a lot. And you can get a lot of movement by just focusing on them. So this was the actual work I put into this page was probably five minutes at most, maybe maybe seven minutes. And if you roll this out to, I don't know, 200, 500 pages on a site and every page gets a boost, then your overall traffic and revenue will increase significantly even from a change as simple as this, just a more optimized meta description and meta title and that's it. So yeah, if you want to replicate these results, then go ahead, get this extension, use it on as many pages as you can and let me know your results in the comments.